So here at Nifty Hoops, we haven't been seeing a lot of instructions out there for folks on the internet for how to adjust limit switches on roll-up motors. And as we're getting into this more, we thought we would try to help everybody out there adjust their limit switches. The limit switches are right here. This is the left and right motor. We're imagining the hoop house sitting in between these two motors. They're connected to the roll bars and are going to roll the curtains up. And the switches determine how far these motors will go up and down. We have them set to where they're shut off in the lower position. And if I turn it to a cool temperature, like I want to vent the house, they're starting to rise. You'll see how close they, how they were shut off by turning it back to that higher temperature. We're now trying to keep the house warmer. They run back down and stop. So when you look at these switches, they're a little complicated. You'll see little black and red bars that are raised and they come up and hit the switches and actually interrupt the circuit. Uh, we have them set to where they're shut off at the bottom and they will turn about seven times to the upper limit switch and you can adjust them from there. If I wanted to adjust this lower limit switch, I want to run it down uh, away inside here to where it can travel back up and hit the switch again. I'm going to turn it this direction. It goes the opposite direction of the way I turn it. And now it's going to turn that many more turns before it hits the bottom. So the same thing can happen at the top if I wanted to adjust the top switch. I've got them coming up here. They would turn seven turns, but I can get it to shut off by moving this little red bar is coming up. I can see it from where I am. And when it hits that switch, it shuts it off in the upper position. That's pretty much it. You've got to fuss around with them a bit to really get the feel of it. But that way you can adjust them to any height you like.